For a Fallbrook father with a wife, daughter, and job, life was feeling pretty ordinary until he stumbled upon the extraordinary. I was out for a bike ride. Mark Goodwin was exploring Fallbrook when he happened upon this old cemetery. I started looking around. That's when what was written on this headstone caught his eye. The Medal of Honor winner and the date. I mean, this is Civil War. The Medal of Honor is the highest and most prestigious military decoration. I was blown away to find out that he was the fifth person to receive the Medal of Honor. Mark himself served in the Army and decided to share his discovery on his veterans Facebook page. It blew up. In less than three days I had close to 600 likes, thumbs up, hearts. Vets from across America researched Wikipedia and other sites to figure out just what William Pittenger and a small group of Union soldiers did. They stole a train from Georgia and they're the Union soldiers, and they set bridges on fire and cut the communication lines to disrupt the Confederacy. The famous raid, 200 miles into enemy territory, was called the Great Locomotive Chase. Can you imagine that type of heroism? To steal a steam train? Locomotive? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? No. And taking that and setting bridges on fire? Pittenger was captured, escaped execution as a spy, then survived, rising in the ranks from private to lieutenant. William Pittenger isn't resting in peace alone. His wife, Winnie, is buried right here at his side. They moved to Fallbrook with their six children in 1890, where Pittenger became an author and pastor before dying in 1904. It's amazing. It's amazing to see history right here. Mark served in the infantry too and feels a kinship to the soldier he never knew. It was in the 2nd Ohio Regiment Infantry, so it's just a, I could say a brotherhood. I'm enthusiastic now to come up here and, and you know, fix the grave up a little, put, maybe put some American flags or something, you know, just to show my respects. Not a bad bike ride. Very good, yeah. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Sevilla, News 8.